Greetings. Now this week I've got some uh, new Target books. I've got four. Yeah, four. And I've got two by John Pertwee and two from Peter Davison. All of them are written by Terence Dix, except one. So we'll go with them in order of... Um, well, in the order of release. So I'm going to start off with a story I actually appreciate. Not a lot of people appreciate this story, but I am not. I actually like this story, and that's The Mutants by Terence Dix. A really nice cover. It's a first edition, this one, from 1977. Look. It's a first edition. It's really good, this one. I got this one in a um, car boot. It was really nice, actually, that one. Good find. And one thing that's unique is it has a Diahu. Instead of the spelling Doctor, it has Diahu and the Mutants. Just a little interesting bit. But yeah, I, I actually appreciate the TV story, so this should be a good read. And the other part we I got is on the flip side, actually, a story that everyone thinks is a masterpiece. And I think it's very good, but I don't like it as much as a lot of other people do, and that is Inferno. Now, Inferno is a very good story. I really like Inferno. I don't like it as much as a lot of other people do. I actually think it's um, not as good as Ambassadors of Death or Silurians, but it's still a phenomenal story with a really good twist on the parallel earth. I love the brigade leader in this. This is a really good TV story. I can't wait to read it again. Terence Dix, of course. Very good book. Love that cover, of course. And now to from the Peter Davison era. And the only, here's the first book in the collection I got. This one is actually unique because it's the only one not by Terence Dix. And that is a story, Frontios, by Christopher H. Bidmead. Now, I actually really like Frontios as a TV story. It's one of my favourite Peter Davison stories. It's a really good story. Not a lot of people seem to talk about it, but I actually think it's really underrated. I love this story, I do. It's actually my favourite of Christopher H. Bidmead's work. Lovely book, this one. Nice cover. Quite like that, actually. Might read that one after The Mutants. And the last book, this is a book which needs no introduction, and that is The Caves of Androzani. A story that everyone thinks is rubbish and nobody likes. I'm kidding again. Yeah, everyone likes this story. This story is phenomenal, the TV story. I mean, it's Peter's last one. And I really want to read this because I do like the TV story. I don't like as much as everyone else seems to. I don't think it's this best story ever. I actually think The War Games is a better... I think Planet of the Spiders is better, actually, myself, and The Tenth Planet, but it's still a very good story. And I can't wait to read it. It looks like a, a beautiful purple again. I love that spine. So, yeah, these are my new Target books. Uh, tell me in the comments which of these is your favourite. Anyone you recommend me read first? Let me know.